Welcome to Lost Ark. My name is Canon, and in this video, we're going to be giving you a step by step guide from the moment you create your character all the way to the end game. There's so many things that you could do in Lost Ark, and certainly no right or wrong way to do it. But if you are looking for some direction or want to be more efficient with your progression, you can thank Amazon Games for sponsoring this video. Let's begin. After completing the tutorial and selecting your class, you'll eventually enter the city of Pride Home. If you open your map by pressing M and zoom out by right clicking, you'll see that you're in the Rathramis region. Your goal is to complete the main story questline until you reach the North Vern region and hit level 50. After reaching North Vern, you'll be able to start your dailies and get your first tier 1 set of gear. Upgrade your tier 1 gear to the eye level that's required to continue the main story questline which will lead you to Yorn where you'll get your tier 2 set, then eventually to Punica where you'll get your tier 3 set. Completing only the main story questline will give you enough experience to hit level 50 and enter North Fern. You can skip yellow quests if you wish to level faster. You can always come back to them later for full map completion which can be tracked by hitting N. Note that the main story questline will be represented by an orange quest marker, but will change to a blue quest marker once arriving in Tortoik. After hitting level 50 and reaching North Fern, you'll unlock your main dailies that you'll continue to do throughout the rest of your Lost Ark journey. Keep in mind that all dailies have what's called a rest bonus, which is represented by a green filled bar you see here. TLDR, if you skip your dailies, you'll stack rest bonus, which gives you more loot the next time you do it. The first daily is the Chaos Dungeon. This dungeon crawler like instance drops unbound gear enhancement mats as well as gear itself. Chaos Dungeons also notably provide silver and shards, which we'll talk more about later. Note, you can dismantle any extra piece of gear you get and it will turn into more enhancement mats. The second daily is the Guardian Raid. These are your boss hunter like raids where your goal is to find and defeat the boss before the timer runs out. These raids can drop rare runes but are mainly for the gear enhancement mats, namely the destruction and guardian stones along with leap stones. All of these mats are unbound and can be shared amongst all of your characters or sold on the auction house. Keep in mind you can queue into these from anywhere by hitting Alt Q. The third daily that will unlock are your Una tasks. Hit Alt J to open the Una menu and select one you'd like to complete. You can select up to three dailies per day and three weekly per week. As a new player, for now, I'd suggest just picking the ones that offer you the most leap stones. There is more to the system as you gain something called reputation, which is needed to unlock some important time gain items, but for the purpose of this quick new player guide, we'll talk about that another time. These three dailies will be the majority of your daily progression moving forward. In addition to this, there are also world events that you can track by hitting the blue timer button on the far left side of the screen. Each day there are different events that spawn on the hour. Progressing in this game requires attaining higher item level, which is done by enhancing your gear. In order to upgrade your gear, head to a gear honing NPC in any major town represented by a hammer on the map. There are six major things you'll need to enhance or hone as we call it. Guardian or destruction stones, shards, leap stones, fusion material, silver, and gold. First, you'll upgrade your gear experience by consuming shards respective to your tier and paying silver. Once at 100%, click gear honing which pulls up another menu showing you your honing success rate along with additional materials you can add to attempt to increase your chances of success. Failing a hone will increase your artisan's energy and when hitting 100%, you'll have a 100% guaranteed success rate on your following attempt. The additional materials will also increase the amount of artisan's energy you gain upon failure. The next thing to learn are your engravings. In Lost Ark, every class has two different class specific specs along with general specs that any class can use. These specs in Lost Ark are called engravings. If you hit Alt-I, you'll bring up a menu that shows all of the engravings. In this menu, you'll be able to track the engraving recipes you have learned for each one. In order to learn these, you'll receive and or buy engraving recipes throughout your journey that you can simply consume. Engraving recipes have four tiers. Uncommon, which are green, rare being blue, epic being purple, and legendary being yellow. Each tier requires 20 books of consumption, 
in that, consuming 20 books will unlock the engraving to the next tier, where you'll need 20 blue, and so on. Each engraving has three levels to them, which increases their effectiveness per level. In order to unlock the effects, you'll need five engraving points per level, a total of 15 points to unlock the level three effect. Engravings are equipped two ways in Lost Art. The first is through your accessories and ability stone. The second is by equipping them directly via recipes. Ability stones are next on the list of things to learn. These stones provide a flat HP bonus, but are mainly for engraving points. You obtain stones by completing dailies, weeklies, game events, or by purchasing them in the auction house. In order to equip an ability stone, you first need to cut it. To do so, go to an ability stone cutter in any major city. In order to cut these stones, you'll need to understand the stone cutting game. You have three engravings on a stone. Two general engravings you want as many points in as possible, with one negative engraving represented by the red that you want as few points in as possible. The percentage you see on the right next to success rate and chance of cracking will always be the same and simply represents the odds of success. If you hit, it will glow and show plus one representing that you now have a plus one engraving point respectively. If you miss, it will be grayed out and you will not have any points for that engraving. Each time you hit, the percentage will go down 10%. Each time you miss, the percentage will go up 10% at a maximum of 75%, minimum of 25%. The goal is to hit as many on blue by using high percentage chances and miss as many on red using low percentage chances with each click costing a small amount of silver. Generally speaking, when equipping engravings, you usually want to start out with the ability stone first due to its RNG nature. You cannot purchase pre-cut stones. The last thing to know about is the gearing transfer process. When transitioning gear sets, for example from tier 1 to tier 2, you'll go to the same gear honing NPC, but this time selecting the gear transfer button. From here, you will be able to transfer your current gear piece into to the higher tier. Note there will be no quest line that gives you a full tier 2 or tier 3 set, so you'll have to get them through your chaos dungeons. After getting your full tier 3 set in Punica, you should be sitting at 1302 eye level. From here, you'll repeat your dailies and continue to push your character to the first major threshold, 1370 eye level, which is plus 15 on all pieces. This will open up two new raid instances that you can do once per week, Oreja's Well Hard and Argos. Oreja's Well Hard has two instances that will each drop mats that you will use to craft your yellow legendary gear set. There is an Oreja's Normal that you can do at 1340, but don't worry about that, just prioritize the 1370 hard mode. Both raids will pay out gold and offer you the option to purchase extra mats after each gate. As a new player, you 100% want to purchase these. If you're having trouble completing these raids, you do have the option to always pay a more geared player to carry you through them. Paying a gold fee, which is usually less than the amount of gold you make from the raid, is called busing in Lost Ark. Be sure to let the group leaders know that you are a new player and they should walk you through the process. You also always have the option to create your own group to learn the raid, be sure to write learning party in the title. If you are able to complete both Aurea instances and all three gates of Argos, you should have enough mats to craft a full legendary set. Go to the Craft Abyss Equipment NPC in Punica and you'll be able to craft your set. You'll want to craft the weapon piece along with three other armor pieces from the chosen set, which will consume the Oreja crafting mat Empyrean Dawn. Then craft the remaining pieces you need for either the Preordained or Harsh Oath set, which will consume the Argos Crafting Mat, Argos Blood. As a general rule of thumb, support classes go Harsh Oath, while DPS classes usually go Preordained. If you do not need any more legendary gear pieces, dismantle these mats and you'll get Leap Stones in return. Once you've crafted your legendary set, you'll want to fuse your current 1370 set into the new legendary one just as you did with your previous gear sets when transitioning to the next tier. Doing so will bring your plus 15 status down to plus 6 while maintaining the same eye level overall. From here, a soft reset in enhancement rates will be applied making your initial upgrade rates faster. The next milestone is to hit plus 15 on your legendary set 
which will put you at 1415 eye level, unlocking the first Major Legion raid, Vaulton. From 1415 eye level, each upgrade will now give you plus 15 eye level. 1415 unlocks Vault in Normal and the ability to equip Relic Accessories. 1430 unlocks Vicus Normal. 1445 unlocks Vault in Hard, plus the ability to craft and equip your Relic Set. 1460 unlocks Vicus Hard. 1475 unlocks Kakul Sedan Normal and the ability to upgrade your Relic Set to level 2. And finally, 1490, where you unlock the ability to do Brawlshaza normal content, which lets you hit another soft reset and gear upgrades for future content. To expand on this, there are two milestones in particular with extra significance. The first being 1415, allowing you to equip relic accessories and stones, in turn letting you build your character for endgame. The second major milestone is hitting 1445, allowing you to upgrade your legendary gear to the orange relic set. This set is significantly stronger than all sets prior due to its passives. Most classes unlock their full potential only when they are in their full relic set. Finally, here are a few points of info that you should know before closing this section out. Number 1. Legion Raids You can only do 3 Legion Raids per character per week. Number two, you may only earn gold rewards from six characters on your roster. Number three, hitting 1415 eye level will remove the gold reward from that character when doing Oreja. Number four, hitting 1470 eye level will remove the gold reward from that character when doing Argos. Before rounding this video out, here's some additional points of information that's important to know. Stronghold or housing as it's more commonly known as has a big place in Lost Ark. It is possible to increase your honing success rates and lower the cost of your honing attempts by researching it in the Stronghold lab. You must have one character reach a certain eye level to unlock this along with a high enough Stronghold level. You can also use the training feature in your stronghold to passively level up additional characters. Lost Ark has a lot of content. There are other areas in the game that you can complete giving you additional honing mats and more. For example, there's Tower, Boss Rush, even Kakul Rehearsal, but unfortunately we don't have the time to go through everything in this video. But here's a list of notable content you should look out for. With that, the final thing I'll mention is the current Hyper Express Pass that will go on through February 8th, 2023. This pass can be applied to any 1302 eye level character and super boosts your progression, allowing you to hit 1445 eye level very quickly at a fraction of the cost. This is a huge catch up mechanic for new players and should be taken advantage of as it's not always available. And that covers everything you need to know as a new player progressing to the end game. There are obviously a ton of other things that Lost Ark has to offer. And as much as we covered in this video, I assure you there's more. I hope this video will give you the hand you need to steer you in the right direction when starting your journey. My name is Cannon, and I'll see you next time.